Hey there, Curselings. Curselor Nick here, and I thought I'd just like uh, show this pop-up real quick. So there was a Blue Moon event going on. Um, it only lasts until May 16th, but it says, you know, prepare for the night of nights. It's that time of the year when the moonlight prolongs your nighttime immunity and slows down the progression of chemical infections. Exploit these benefits to achieve your greatest needs when the monsters come out. And I did notice that in the last episode we did because I didn't have to use any of the... Um, like the boosters and stuff which was which was good like because i was like oh my immunity is lasting quite a while <laughs> so just want to show you guys that and we're going to just jump back in so we ended up doing one main mission and then a side mission um and then now we're back on <clears throat> to the main mission so i'm going to go track that down still trying to figure out how to get into that gre database or where it's at or if it still exists so, Lawan has uh, said sayonara to us. So we're kind of on our own in terms of uh, finding all that stuff. But that's okay. Because we got this. So I'm thinking, like, I'm going to do everything I can to get... Let's see. Uh, or increase. I do want that. Jump instantly from an active landing. Hmm. That'd be good. Uh, move faster on ledges. That might be good too. Ah, I kind of want to get these verticals in the. Let's get let's get this one. Hmm. The run upwards on vertical surfaces, and then we'll start working on our grip. I think that'd probably be a good idea. Oh, okay. Um, where is it? Okay, it says it's eight hundred and. All right, well, I guess we'll just start headed towards it. We'll head over here. Try to stay up above everything. Do oh. <laughs> I? Oh, God, I gotta keep. I gotta remember the directions. Still having a hard time. <laughs> the vent uh, in front of us, straight ahead. Hi zombie guys. Bye zombie guys. Alright, here we go. Ooh. Let's see if we can get around this building here. Okay. Coming in. I, didn't. I was like, why are you so angry? Like, we don't have to fight you. You know this, right? Get back. Alright. Eh, we'll let him go. Oh, I keep forgetting I really need to uh, go sell. <laughs> this I forgot uh inactive windmill yeah you know what let's go why not That's not work. all right where's a, a quick way up here maybe 
Maybe we'll use. Well, let's try the vent. There we go. Come over this way. All right. Come back. Okay. Alright, climb. Oh, never mind. Ah, get up there, Eden. Whew. I don't know about you guys, but when I do this stuff, even though it's in a game and I know it, I still like clench. <laughs> you know, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like all super tense. <laughs> okay. We're gonna hopefully build this up and then we can sh do the shop and sell off a bunch of stuff. Because that way we won't get any more. Uh, your inventory is full. We want to pick up stuff. Okay. Done. Okay, where's that go? I guess we'll just do this. Coming in hot. Okay. So is there a faction here yet? Oh we we did it, but there's no fa ah man. That's a bummer. Alrighty. I guess we'll just continue on. Nothing, sir. I heard the place you're looking for was destroyed. I'm sorry. Thanks. But sorry isn't much consolation. I know, son. But I might be able to help you out. I'll get back to you. Well, that was an unexpected, uh... Okay, which way goes up? Is uh so I just gotta swim up? Okay. I guess there is no uh Okay. O is down. Just I guess X is up. It's kinda kinda confusing, I'm not hundred percent hundred percent sure I got it getting it right here. Get, get out of the ledge, please. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Sometimes I wish it would still show the prompt, you know, be like, oh yeah, do this to, to do that. That would that'd be nice. Okay, what is this? Alright, let's repair this one so we'll get a safe zone. this way such a huge huge environment too and it's like uh, I, I've always I, I still kind of laugh about because as I got into um, you know streaming uh, or uh, not streaming but you know creating content for YouTube <laughs> I picked like three games that all came out within like two weeks where it was like Elden Rings, Dying Light 2, and uh, Horizon and it's uh Definitely been, you know, quite quite a while. Okay. Return at night to face the monster. Are they trying to say that? 
the monster has the GRE. Yeah, like how do I how do I get in there? Maybe he breaks it? <laughs> Kind of weird. I'm almost, uh, I'm, I'm tempted to go sleep so I could do it. Uh, oh, you've got the stronger. level fours. Okay, anyways. Okay, so this is the, the main mission, the compound. So let's go check it out and see what's up. Let's move that. Oh, I see what they mean about the you know contamination. One? Yeah, you were right. Only ruins left. The one? Major Matt, Aiden here. Aiden, good to hear you, son. You said maybe you could help me out. I'd like to ask how. Not over the radio. Come to the ship, to the main HQ. I'll be there soon myself. All right. Yeah, like, how'd I get here and, like, why am I surrounded by all these dead? That's kind of trippy. Alrighty then. Let's go check this out real quick. Another challenge. One, one day we'll do these things. <laughs> so we can get a, on that side at least. So we'll be ready. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can go help these guys out. See if they got anything on them. What's up, guys? Hope you see some action soon. <laughs> okay, let's go get inside here. What do you mean? Let's go talk to this person real quick. Aha! Hey, you. It's so dark. Okay, let's see. Boomstick. I'm just gonna buy it. Alright. Well, I'm like, I'm not spending my money on anything else anyways. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Upgrades. Travel. Ah, this is where I went. Okay. Please. Alright, I need three military tech. And then, let's see, UV bar. What I really want is my bandages. Alright, can I do it again? Nope. Alright, 
what about my nope what about my molotovs I need more trophies damage damage is currently 10 affected I really do kind of want to upgrade my knives but ah really need to find more stuff okay so that's good enough for now and then and uh what did they serve yesterday no loitering let's talk halt biomarker here report to meyer in dispatch the commander is on his way back from the field does matt often go out on field missions used to be he was hardly ever on the ship I was in the field. I was helping. That's why I joined the Peacekeepers. But lately, Matt's been acting weird. I'm not sure what that's about. It's been this way since before Old Villador and the Renegade attack there. Now this bullshit with the withdrawal, I, I don't get it. Whatever's going on, I hope he addresses the men soon. Helps us understand this bullshit withdrawal. Hmm. He's probably got his reasons. Whatever they are, innocent people are gonna get killed. But go see Meyer. Thanks. You're clear. All right, we're going into the ship. Where's dispatch? There. All right, men. We take care of the UV lamps and head back to base. It should be on point, fast, and easy. Go, go, go. They've already attacked two of our camps. Do anything we can to arm you. If needed, we'll intervene. If you could intervene, why'd you leave in the first place? This is bullshit. Wasn't your father some famous war hero? I bet he's rolling over in his grave. Watch your mouth, civilian. Things are tough all over. You know that. Don't just stand there. Ah, you. I remember you from the canteen. Yeah, I, I guess. From the fight in the canteen? Uh, maybe. Don't sweat it. You can really hold your own. I respect that. Aiden, right? Commander told me to brief you about faction matters. Missy welcomes you. Uh, who's Missy? It's the name of the ship you're standing in. She played a key role during the revolution. Missy was meant to deliver drugs, masks, and other critical medical supplies, then return home. But by then, home was gone. She and her crew had nowhere to go. And what about now? Now, she serves as PK headquarters in Command Central. All directives are issued from right here. Smart. Easier to defend than a building. Exactly. What did those survivors want? Talking about our little argument? They want what everyone wants. Safety. Which I understand. But we have to keep our eye on the bigger picture here. And it pisses me off when people mention my father. I, I don't mean to pry, but uh, what's the deal with your father? Uh, this again? Since you're new here, I'll tell you the short version. Classic story. Saved a bunch of his fellow soldiers, some civilians, and got a medal. When was this? Long time ago. Back when people were only fighting each other, and not each other and infected at the same time. So is he why you joined the military? Pretty much. <laughs> he must have been very proud. Sure. Why not? Where is Matt? In the field. He came across a lead in Old Villador. You gotta wait. See that board? I got plenty that needs doing and not enough men. You wanna pick up some of our slack? We pay well. Medic, hurry. Fuck, that's Major Matt. Medic, Something's hurry. happened. Make room! The other way, he's bleeding out. Oh, 
fuck. Hater's in really bad shape. Take him to the infirmary. Summon the medics. We have to save him. Hang on, Ator. We won't let you go. You hear me? Get moving. Better hope Ader survives. We lost too many people in old Villador. Jack will do all he can to find out who did this. I recognize your uniform. Um, you're one of those carriers, right? Sure am. Need a message delivered? No, I'm in the market for information, not sending it. And nothing I can do for you. Yeah, so I hear. But, uh, and maybe your boss can help me? Our guildmaster? Driscoll? Maybe. I don't know. He has the authority, but you'd have to be a very special case. I don't know about me, but what I'm after is important. You can try to speak to Driscoll, but don't get your hopes up. Story of my life. Where can I find him? In a headquarters, on downtown court, inside the metro station that bears the same name. You'll know it when you see it. And Driscoll. <laughs> you can't miss him. That sounds good. Thanks a lot. Nice. I was gonna say, so far I'm not seeing any, uh, anything I can, any, like, side missions I can pick up, though. Alright, let's go, let's go over here real quick. Alright, let's see. Hmm, <clears throat> sell. Here we go. This is what I've been trying to do. Um... Oh, well, let's sell all valuables first. Okay. Get rid of that, and then... Oh, okay. We hold X to sell. So let's get rid of all this stuff. I'll get rid of, like, all greens and commons. Okay, and then... Yeah, goods. Okay, I already did the valuables. Got a lot of this stuff, so let's sell that, sell that. I mean, I'll just keep all the purples if, since I got all that. Um, I really haven't even been like paying attention to any of the gear whatsoever. Uh, get rid of that. I mean, I'm pretty. I like what I got, so. Oh, okay. Purple. There's purple, and then. Okay. Let's just sell all this. Sell all this. Eventually, I'll need to start looking into this stuff. <clears throat> okay, equipment. Keep all that. Keep all that. Okay. Not bad. Oh, these are cool. DIY grenades. Expensive, but pretty good. Ooh, rocker jacket. Chess piece for a brawler, a class specializing in dealing damage with one-handed weapons. That could be kind of cool, uh, but we'll wait for right now. Okay. Alright, talk to Jack. Let's go. I say we, we go ahead and talk to him. Uh, what's this? Learn more about AIDS or... Eh, why not? Alright, I'm just pinging to see if I can talk to any of these people. My dad always said, if it hurts, that's good. No, Stephen. A filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I... Uh, People here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. 
misremembers something, gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill him. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Velador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there. Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? On Covid Island. Don't worry. You can trust Margaret. Alright, I'm thinking we're gonna go um talk to Jack Matt and you know get the next like main mission. And then uh I'm just kinda like bouncing around seeing if there's anything to, to pick up here. Let's see what's this over here. Oh that's just a okay. Right. okay, I think that's it. Okay, so I'm thinking like let's go, yeah, get that underway, and then we can do the Ador uh, quest. I think that'd be good. Aiden, don't just stand there. Come here. Know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men, whatever they're planning. Okay, but over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz heard her. He took her from me, and I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or... That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center, on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way, the signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. 
And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay. I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacks for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> you all right, sir? Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Aiden, what do you want, son? These renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's gonna be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized. Because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it. Destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne, in white motherfucking gloves, and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating, so the people know the true enemy. Then, we can defend ourselves properly. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck, then. All right, may as well do some searching real quick. <laughs> Get the loot. Get the loot, Aiden. Ah, <laughs> uh, they say, "Where's my having the power light?" Gone will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on a bomb. All right, let's go talk to Meyer. And I feel like it's probably good good time to um and go do the side quest. Ooh. Can I help you? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. Could come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Wait, wiped out? 
You mean every last Nightrunner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up, drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Hope that flashlight serves you well. All right. New Night Runner 2. Okay, uh, you have received a UV flashlight. It allows you to repel and weaken all infected, especially virals and volatiles. To use the flashlight, equip it with uh, left and then hold L2 to use it. Keep an eye on the flashlight's power. When it reaches zero, you'll have to wait for it to recharge. Keep infect, infect within the UV light cone until they fall to the ground. This makes them vulnerable for a few seconds. Use that opportunity to attack. Okay, that's kind of cool. Like a little twist. I'm around if you need to play. Where's the... I'm gonna have to equip it or whatever. Okay. Alright, let's go find this guy real quick that's supposed to turn the lights on. He's probably gonna need something. What do you guys want to bet? <laughs> He said something else, but the meaning's this Who are you? Dude. Dispatcher sent me to check on the status of an order. Yeah, yeah. Fucking PKs think we can just make the stuff up here magically. Just point me to your commander and I'll get out of your hair. Uh, Juan's pretty busy right now. He doesn't have time for you. We'll tell him to find the time. Jack Matt sent me. <laughs> no one supervises Juan, buddy. Juan is just... Juan. Get with the program. Sides, he ain't here. You want to find him? Ask his assistant where he is. Just remember, you're on supplier turf now. Mind your manners. All right, let's see. All right, let's go in. Knock, knock. Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? Now oh, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Reyna is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. Nice try, but no. I won't say. Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. 
Hey, Luan. Hey, then. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me to Supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scarce. What did Probably that? lurking around the fisheye. The canteen? The slick bastard's even got his own table there. Bribes the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I'll look for him there. Good luck finding him. And good luck if you do find him. All right. Let's see. Oh, back this way. Okay. Let's just follow this. The big area. Wait, can I go through the door over there? Nope. All right, we gotta go. Okay, here we go. Just gotta go back the way we came. Okay. Someone, the exclamation point. Eh. We'll just go out for now. Maybe they're outside. Maybe they're out here. And then we gotta talk to them. Okay. I think we'll go outside and <clears throat> I'll do a time check real quick and then we'll see. Uh... I've gotta report the supply after my shift. This uniform's too tight. Renegade. So, no upgrades yet. Crafting. Journal. Yeah, I kind of want to do... Uh, okay, we'll, we'll talk to Juan at the canteen. I'm thinking I want to do this. Alright, these are all the active ones or whatever. Finish the challenge, finish the challenge, finish the challenge. Finish the challenge. <laughs> okay. I think we're gonna start we're gonna there's three side quests here we can do so we're going to do these I heard about withdrawal from the island. Uh, okay. oh, well before we do that again let me double check real quick okay yeah this will be a good spot so we're gonna go ahead and save right here and then I'll start the next episode and start heading out that way to try to find the healer so as always thank you so much for watching you guys know what to do please like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video